Water polo players, you need to fix your suit. Coaches, you need to tell your athletes, fix your suit. We are talking about the growing trend of young women and girls choosing to wear their water polo suit up their butt on the pool deck. The problem is not related to the sport or the equipment. Most often, the players themselves are adjusting their suits to expose themselves. Coaches, we need to take responsibility for our athletes. We require them to wear team uniforms and team suits. These suits should be worn in a manner that does not expose them. Look your athletes in the eye and say, fix your suit. Fix your suit, three words that anyone can say. There is a growing disdain for this trend among parents, coaches, and referees. Administrators are paying attention to water polo for the wrong reasons. If it makes anyone uncomfortable, it's our responsibility to respond. Addressing the issue is simple. Coaches, tell your players, fix your suit. Athletes, tell your teammates to fix your suit. The rules are clear and designed to prevent exposure and protect the athletes in our sport. Tell your players to fix your suit or the problem may be legislated for us. The NC2A refers to being modest because the players are public figures and are representatives of their university. The NC2A also states that coaches can and ought to play an important role in reminding their athletes of these expectations. It's on us to address this growing problem, so fix your suit. Athletes are often unaware of the consequences of their actions. Pictures and videos are being taken and placed on sites not appropriate for water polo. This video on YouTube has almost 150,000 views. Notice the title. Unfortunately, we doubt all 150,000 views are solely to watch water polo. We want people to watch our sport because it features strong, highly conditioned and skilled athletes. We are enjoying an age where more water polo games can be seen on TV and the internet. This is why it is imperative that athletes represent themselves, their sport, their team, their school in the best way possible. We don't want them objectified and reduced to only a pair of butt cheeks. Our athletes deserve better. That is why we need to tell them to fix your suit. This is how suits are made. Not like this, like this. Not this, like this. We are unsure why this has become common around the pool. Some say because foreign teams do it. Here are three countries with appropriate fitting polo suits. Saying that other teams do it is just an excuse. It is fixable. This is the main point. People have different body types and suits fit differently. Some grabbing may go on underwater, yet the problem is fixable. When athletes come out of the locker room and before they hop out of the pool, they need to adjust their suit so it fits correctly. Some say it is awkward for male coaches to say something to female athletes because it means they are checking them out. Not sure this would be construed as checking out a player. These players are making a choice to present themselves for everyone to see. Athletes must care about the image they are portraying to spectators, coaches, referees, and other athletes. It is a cop-out for any coach, male or female, to not say anything. Fix your suit can refer to any player for any suit infraction. Fix your suit is applicable to both genders. Tell the guys that if their butt crack is exposed, they need to fix your suit. Athletes, you are ambassadors of water polo. What you do, say, wear, and how you conduct yourself is highly visible to the public. Hold yourself and your teammates to the highest standards. Coaches, we are an influential part of our athletes' playing careers. As people who care about our sport, we have much to lose and little to gain by avoiding this issue. Let's take the lead and wipe out a trend that draws negative attention to our great sport. We need to act now, say something. It's as simple as fix your suit.